This week, Subaru launched its brand new 2012 Impreza in New York City. Why New York City? Because Subaru knows that many of its core clients live in the city. Of course, many also live in the country. This? Well, that's a new 2012 Subaru Impreza. This is Roman Micah, and this is a fast lane car. Let's take it for a first drive and see how it does. Oh yeah, it's the only all-wheel drive car in its segment. Subaru says the big story is that the new Impreza has the best gas mileage of any all-wheel drive car sold in America. We've improved the fuel economy over 30% to 27 city, 36 highway with all-wheel drive on our CVT models. That's, of course, the best fuel economy of any, any all-wheel drive car sold in America. The 2012 Subaru is actually the same length and the same width as the old car, but Subaru packages better so that there are two more inches of room, and this is where you can really tell the back seat. I'm 6'2", and as you can tell, my feet, well, they fit. They're not happy, but they do fit. Uh, is there more room back there, or is it just uh, more roomy? So, we moved some of the hardware that was uh, under the load floor uh, last year. We made the fuel tank a little bit smaller, which doesn't affect the cruising range. It's actually greater, but that allowed us to uh, move that stuff out of the way and drop the load floor. So now it's completely flat. It's a little bit lower. We've gone to a tilt adjustable headrest. I think so, you're unique in that. It's pretty cool. Show me that. Uh, so that uh, that's going to tilt forward a number about five detents, four or five. And then when you reach the end, you can go one more and bring it back forward. This may sound strange, but I've driven both the five-speed and now the CVT, and I actually like the CVT better. The five-speed seems underpowered and in some ways underwhelming, whereas the CVT, oddly enough, is lively and uh, a little bit more sporty. So this is the new uh, 148, 150 horsepower 148 engine. 148 horsepower oh. FB series engine. The best way to describe the new power of this Impreza's engine, well, it's adequate. Now, strap a turbo on it, add, oh, about 120 more horsepower, and you've really got something. What is that something? Hopefully, in two years, the new WRX and STI. This is its own car, WRX STI. I think it was what we previously announced. They, they kind of split off yeah. at this point in time. So last year, we redesigned both of those models. We, we went to the wide body on the WRX, and then the STI, we went to you know, offering a sedan as well. So those cars got a lot of updates last year, so they're gonna hang around a little bit longer. At the end of the day, the simple fact remains that if you want an all-wheel drive car in this segment, the Impreza is the only way to go. Or in Micah, reporting for TFLcar.com. These little tabs right here at the end of the roof rails. What's that all about? So we did a number of things to reduce the drag and improve the fuel economy on Impreza. And so one thing we found is that when we added this, this feature in our, uh, our aerodynamics testing, that uh, adding this little bump smooths out the airflow and, and increases the highway fuel economy one mile per gallon from what it would have been otherwise. That's crazy. That little hump right there increases it by one MPG. Yeah, that's correct. Wow.